and welcome, I'm your code monkey. So nowadays, AI is all over the place. Companies are investing billions of dollars in AI. There's AI for chatting, AI for making images, for making videos. There's text to animation, text to behavior. There are so many potential AI use cases. But at the same time, it's a very controversial subject. If you go to some place on the internet, it seems like everybody hates AI. But on other places, it seems like AI is the only thing that matters. It's going to be the future and nothing else. So nowadays, it's all very much just those two extremes. Recently, Unity published their 2025 gaming report. This is basically a massive report with tons of stats on what are the main trends in 2025. They basically ask a ton of data from tons of developers to try to get an idea of what exactly those developers think about the state of the industry in general. I made a video going over the report if you want to learn more about that. In the report, naturally, they asked about developers, what about AI? In general, the report actually found devs are positive about AI tools, with most of them being extremely positive, only some of them being somewhat apprehensive. So in general, 79% feel positive about AI in game dev. Which again, this goes counter to some things you might see in some spaces where everybody hates AI. So yeah, basically it's very difficult to get an idea of what exactly does the average person think about AI. And more importantly, when it comes to game development, the big question is what do the players actually think? And for that, it seems that the answer is that players care about AI just as much as they care about assets, meaning they don't really care about it at all. When it comes to assets, players really just want fun games to play, that is really all they care about. It doesn't matter what assets you use to make the game. It doesn't matter if you made it everything yourself from scratch or if you bought a ton of assets from the asset store. The gamers really only care about what is the final product like. If the final game is fun to play, then players don't care what you use to build it. I recently made a video on this exact same topic. And the answer is nope, gamers don't really care. They just want fun games to play. And it seems that when it comes to AI, that is very much the same sentiment. And a while ago, Steam themselves posted some new rules on how exactly AI can be used in game development. Basically, whenever you publish a game, you have to fill out a survey, which means you have to actually say what exactly was made using AI in your game. And in doing so, they promise we will also include much of your disclosure on the Steam store page for your game, so customers can also understand how the game uses AI. So when Steam published these new rules, my first thought was, okay, so how exactly are gamers going to respond to this? Will gamers basically just mass review bomb some kind of game that has this disclosure, or will they simply not care about it? That was my question back then, and upon doing some research, the answer seems to be what I said a while ago. One of the biggest hits of last year was this game, Supermarket Simulator. This one made over $28 million, that's an insane amount, and this was actually mostly a sole developed game. So yeah, very successful, very impressive. So here's Supermarket Simulator, very successful game, players absolutely love this game. And over here, if we scroll down, if we go down to the bottom, we can see AI-generated content disclosure. So developers describe how their game uses AI-generated content like this. Basically, we use AI to generate the capsules for the game store page. So yep, this image over here, this one right here, this was generated using AI. And at least in this case, Steam's players do not care. Again, this was one of the most successful games of last year. It is very positive, 93% positive. Those are excellent reviews, excellent scores. For another example, here's another game, Fast Food Simulator. This one also even has overwhelmingly positive reviews. And this one, if we scroll down and we see the disclosure, we can see the game does not contain AI-generated content. AI-generated content is just used for Steam images. So pretty much the same thing. So over here, this little capsule, this was likely generated using AI. And for another game, here we have The Great Rebellion. So this is a 2D side-scrolling roguelike, lots of shooting, lots of things. And it does have very positive reviews, 491 at 97% positive. So this is almost a near perfect score. Players absolutely love this game. And if we scroll down, we can see, yep, here is the disclosure. So some of the backgrounds in a few of the levels are based on images created with AI, as well as a few props in the levels. They were only used as a basis to start from and have been heavily edited manually afterwards to make them fit with the rest of the game's pixel art style. So based on these examples, it seems like the answer for AI is very much exactly the same thing that I said with assets. Players just want fun games to play, they don't care what you use to build them. Which of course also means that if you use AI to build your game, but the game looks terrible with AI art, if you've got some characters that have 10 fingers each of them, if so then players will likely not enjoy that regardless of being AI or not. So if you have a human artist and they draw some terrible art with lots of fingers, if so, then chances are you will also get some negative reviews. So it all comes back to the same thing. It seems that players really just want fun games to play. So if the game is fun, if the game is good, it does not matter if it was all made 100% using people or 100% using AI. If the game is good, then the game is good. If the game is bad, then the game is bad. Meaning you don't seem to get any bonuses by not using AI and you don't seem to get any penalties by using AI. At least for right now, that seems to be how players are reacting to AI disclosures. Now, for me personally, I think AI is really just not a tool. And as with any tool, it can be used or abused. So basically, that's the same thing that I said in the roadmap video for Unity in 2025. They talked about all the various AI tools and how they're improving them. And my thoughts are how for these tools for generating assets like visuals, audio, and 3D. For these, I think these tools are actually really great for prototyping. So in order to get your game up and running very quickly, in order to help you make something that is really not just gray boxes, 
using these generated tools, you can make something that looks a little bit more interesting, which can help make a better prototype. But then I would say before you go to release, before that, I would say hire proper artists or buy some proper art assets and basically replace those prototype visuals with that one. So I think these tools are great for the prototype stage, but I'll definitely replace them before the final release. And as a small developer, I think the tools like ChatGPT, so these chat AI tools, I think these are really awesome specifically for brainstorming, especially if you are a small dev. I mean, the usual saying is two heads are better than one, but if you are a small dev, you just have one head. So using AI can kind of help you get basically two heads. So I think for brainstorming, it's great. Basically, ask the AI, I'm having some kind of issues with design. Like, give me 10 ideas for how I can encourage my players to explore a bit more of the world. In doing so, the AI will give you 10 ideas for how you might be able to achieve that. And out of those, chances are eight of them are going to be terrible, but two of them are probably going to be somewhat decent, which then you can combine with your own brain in order to figure out some kind of game design, some kind of game mechanic to actually achieve your final result and actually help you make a better game. So yep, do players care about AI? The answer seems to be no. It seems to be the same thing as with assets. The main thing that players care about is fun games to play. And if you give them that, then it doesn't matter what you use to build the game. Which means you can use AI tools if you want to, but you can also just not use AI tools. You can keep making games 100% by yourself, 100% doing everything. Because again, all that matters is just the final game. So if you want to use AI, go ahead and use AI. If you don't want to use AI, go ahead and don't use AI. So yep, now I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts on this. Again, I know AI can be a very controversial topic. Were you avoiding using AI just because you don't know how players will react to it? Or are you already using AI and don't really care about this? Or are you intentionally not using AI and will continue not using it? Again, both those options are perfectly valid. By the way, if you like making 2D games, there's a giant bundle right now. It has literally over 10,000 assets and insane amount of sprites, all of it for just 20 bucks. You can make all kinds of games, kind of like Stardew Valley, pretty much anything with 2D sprites. So you can make a nice medieval adventure with a bunch of nice towns. You can make a game with a modern city, make one inside a dungeon. It includes a giant amount of character sprites. Then it also has a bunch of spells, a bunch of sound effect packs. It even got a bunch of music packs or a giant collection of item icons or even platformer talents. So yep, this really is a giant pack, literally over 10,000, might even be over 20,000 sprites. That's an insane amount to make pretty much any kind of 2D game you want to make. So if you like making 2D games and you don't have any assets, go ahead and pick up this really awesome bundle for just 20 bucks. The link in the description is an affiliate link, so if you buy it through there, you get some really awesome assets and I get a nice commission. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.